Halsey's health crisis and her recent diagnosis of lupus and other diseases, um, I really wanted to look at her Bozzy astrology and share the fascinating um, journey astrologically that Halsey is on in this life. And um, so that's what we're looking at today. So welcome. My name is Lydia. This is the Feng Shui and Bazi Chinese Astrology Channel. If this is something that you're interested in, please subscribe, uh, like, and hit the bell so you don't miss a single video. I will say that the next one I'm going to do is Olivia Munn. This is someone who has recently gone through a whole lot of uh, preventative cancer, you know, surgeries um, because of the cancer in her body and preventing it from spreading. So anyway, that's going to be a chart that I'm going to read um, also this week. But let's look at Halsey. Um, I was so sad to hear about this health crisis that she is in. And one of the things as a Bazi Chinese astrologer, also called Four Pillars, that I so appreciate is that this is a tool. Your astrology chart is your tool to understanding sometimes the hidden reason behind our health. Because ultimately, just like in nature, we seek balance. Our physical body is always seeking balance, right? We get a fever because the body is trying to balance itself. It is burning something out that is not wanted, right? So when you're looking at her chart, she is born September 29th, 1994 at 826 in the morning, adjusted for daylight savings time. And this chart is too yang, which is you know, too masculine. It's very strong energy for assertion, for that inner strength. Um, and it's also a chart that's too hot and dry. And I've talked about this before, that when we have a chart that leans too hot and dry, that is a container for dis-ease to begin. Now, from my yoga um, studies and living the yoga lifestyle for over 20 years now, I can honestly say that, um, and I love Dr. Gabor Mate. He has such wisdom that aligns with my theory around where some disease comes from. The word dis-ease literally means out of ease. Your body, your system, your mind is not an, in an easeful place. And ultimately, when we live a life that is, that feels like we have stability and well-being and we are nourished and we are loved and cared for and supported in all ways, we tend to thrive. It's not that we're not going to get sick ever, but we tend to thrive. The container in which dis-ease arrives is somebody that has that type A personality that never stops. Look at Madonna. I can put a link if you want for the chart that I, her chart, I did a, a read on that last summer when she nearly died from just that overworking yourself. And in addition to overworking yourself, somebody that just never stops is also your, um, your environment. And if you're in a really toxic, traumatic environment, that leads to especially autoimmune disorders like lupus which is what Halsey has just been diagnosed with, along with POTS. And I actually did private yoga classes with um, a boy who had POTS. And it is a debilitating illness. 
that you have. It's like you don't just get, you can't get cured. And lupus is the body literally fighting itself. So we, I, I looked at this. I was like, how is this sweet, beautiful, talented young woman, 29 years old, dealing with all of this? And it's in her chart. And so that's what we're going to look at now. So stick with me because when I get to the end of the video, I'll talk to you about not only this specific year of the dragon, but looking forward because that is of a concern to me. All right. So um, first of all, let's look at her five elements. It's not hugely out of balance, but it's out of balance enough and her luck cycles, something we go through every 10 years, according to your birthday and time, we go through these 10 year periods and those elements, those uh, astrological animals impact us in all different ways. So she's born the year of a Yang Wood dog, the month of Yin Water Rooster, the day of Yang Earth Horse, and the hour of Yang Fire Dragon. All right, so right away, what do we see? Right away, we see that she's born in the year of the dog and the hour of a dragon, and that's a conflict. Um, yes, and what is going on there is you've got these two challenging components in her chart. And what I have found is often when you have two challenging components in your chart, your life can be an echo of that, that you just seem to perpetually go from one challenging period of your life to the next. And since this is landing in her career, it shows there is that challenge to her career. So when you look at the fact that she's been sick, for instance, she hasn't been able to work. Maybe she was able to write songs, but she's held back, right? So this also is boosting up. When we have this conflict of the dragon and the dog, it raises up her earth element because she's born on the day of a Yang earth horse. And that is your everything. Your day pillar is who you are. So the fact that earth is pumped up with this conflict does not help her. And the other thing that this does is it weakens water, which is her saving grace. I'm gonna come back to that in a moment because when we have imbalance in our chart, we want to figure out what element could be beneficial and then focus activities and even your career around that element so that it's activated. All right, so um, there is a semi-fire trio in this chart with her dog and horse. So now we have the two elements, because I already said her chart is too hot and dry. So we've got on top of that, a surge of the two elements she needs the least. That isn't helpful. So her fire, what is her resource? What feeds her is 20%. Balanced, not a big deal. Earth, strong at 27, 30%. Together, that makes up half of the pie chart of her five elements. And ideally, that isn't too horrible, except, like I said, the earth and fire are reinforced. And where we might find further trouble is the luck cycle she's in and the year. So we're going to get to that in a moment. Stick with me. Now... We know that her relationship with her mother um, was a bit of a mess. Um, 
there's this whole, I, I'm pretty sure that Halsey's bipolar, her mom's bipolar. There's a lot of this neurodiversity and it feels to me like a lot of a toxic situation she was growing up with that led to her suicide attempt at the age of 17 and being hospitalized for many weeks. This is a metal pattern, which is helpful because metal gives all that earth somewhere to go. There's a balanced amount of water, which is really what she needs, metal with water. And then wood is um, the weakest element. And we don't want wood. Why wouldn't we want wood? Because what does wood do? It feeds fire, exactly. So for this chart, I would focus on suggesting metal and water. I would suggest that she actually was, like if I were to redirect her career, I would have it be someone who um, does something completely different. Completely different. Something, an, an industry and activities that are more water and metal oriented like literally being in the water, living on the water, swimming every day. Swimming every day would be amazing for Halsey. The water therapy, I would also encourage acupuncture. All right, so let's break some of this down. Let's look at the fact that her life pillar reinforces this imbalance in her chart because it's a yang earth dragon, which means she is living out her life journey through her relationship with her child. Sorry, it's fly season, it's summertime. What can we do? Yeah, um, the fly has a voice sitting right on my mic. All right, so... Um, and through her career. That is really where she activates her life path, her karmic life path. All right, so what is this career about? The yang fire of that dragon in her hour speaks of somebody who very much um, wants to to like inspire people. She has a message that she wants to share. Maybe it's educational. Maybe it's spiritual in motivation. And it can also just be that she wants to inspire people. This is also, being a Yang Earth person, this is very personal. And this is very much about her following and her circle who is on the stage with her as much as who's in the audience, who are her friends as much as who is she with herself, her own relationship, right? And tucked into the dragon is romantic relationships, her work, all of her responsibilities. There's also tucked in there the success and the money, and often I have said that when we have these conflicts, those things are broken open. And so in that, that is a benefit. So we all know this is a year of the dragon. And so this conflict is being magnified this year. And the worst part is the yang wood sitting on top of the dragon is feeding her fire. So let's look at um, her journey. She's young. We've got only three luck cycles that she has been through in the short time she's been on this planet. And the first one is interesting. 
So at the age of six, until the age of 15, there is a full metal trio in her chart with a Yang water monkey. This had the potential for being one of the best times of her life thus far. And actually, sadly, the only one that I see. The only one I see. What I would say in that first luck cycle was that that whole thing with her father, his, that relationship was a big part of that time of her life. Okay. And, um, yeah. Um, I know her family moved a whole lot. Um, and, you know, a lot of being bullied and, you know, being diagnosed bipolar. Um, just there's so much that happens to her. So much that happens to her. And the, the yang metal of the monkey in that first cycle speaks of someone who is really enjoying the activities of her life and the creative process because this woman is so, so creative. She is an artist. Front and center, she is an artist. And she is somebody who um, is innovative and inventive and yeah, just humongously talented. She's also someone who likes to have her ducks in a row. She likes having things organized. She likes to have that, that structure. But at the same time, when the structure, and this is really key, when that container that, that gives us really kind of like a false sense of security and stability gets disrupted, she gets really out of whack. And she's someone who really needs to work independently, like a solo singer. Not that she can't bring in collabs, like she's done with her songs, but um, she's somebody that I think from her life, she kind of needs to lean on her own. And this is part of her chart. Um, so we have this first period of her life and her father is all over this. Um, and I believe at some point, her, um, I think her parents got divorced at some point. But anyway, there's a lot going on. The next luck cycle is interesting because now she's 16 and shit's getting real because now we've been diagnosed bipolar. We're dealing with bullies in school. And this is when she left home. This is when she had the suicide attempt, was hospitalized for almost a month. This is when her career started, when she was first posting her music online. And this was a time when she was homeless. Um, in this period, there is, this is a yin metal sheep. Now the sheep is hot earth, exactly what she doesn't need. In the yin metal is helpful. It speaks of a freaking revolution in this girl's life. Given everything that I'm seeing here, I could totally, if I didn't know this person, this was your chart, I would say, wow, at the age of 16, you are a badass. You went out into the world and your own revolution. 
And with your creativity, your ingenuity, you went out and created your own world, your own, your own life. And in doing that, she, the yin earth of the sheep is kind of like an identity crisis or an identity reclamation, or it can simply be that she took on the role of a singer, an artist, fill in the blank. She's searching for herself. Tucked into this is mention of her mother, dealing with legal stuff, and also um, romantic relationships, her career. And there's a lot of this busting open because the sheep and her dog form a semi-punishment or penalty that speaks of family, life, shit just getting too real and an intense situation. And this is 2011 all the way to 2021. This is ages 16 to 25. This is defining because this sheep along with her dog, oh, sorry, along with her horse forms a semi-fire trio. So what do we have? We have intense stress. We have um, stress that leads to health issues, and on top of that, a surge of fire. None of this is good. None of this is good. This past couple years ago, sorry, itchy nose, <laughs> um, we get into where she is now. All right, so thanks for sticking with me because here we go. This is where we are in this now time. So, I have no doubt all of the symptoms that she's been struggling with, fatigue, aching body, all the things, probably digestive issues, have been brewing. And I would reckon that it has been coming since 2011, that she has been struggling and trying to figure all of this out with all that her life has been. And she comes to this now time of a Yang metal horse that is banging right up against her own horse and the horse is yin fire and yin earth. Now, that heat is really not welcome. And the, the metal is speaking of someone who, again, is enjoying her creative process and the activities that she's engaged in. The mother archetype, the divine feminine, the divine goddess, is a source that is flowing in of support, but it feels like too much. And again, we have this crisis of self. After all, if she's identifying with herself as a singer and now she has this health crisis, am I still a singer? Now I'm also a mom. What else am I? Who am I? And that is the signature of her life. Her life pillar speaks dominantly, primarily of this life being a journey of understanding who she is and who her people are. Who are my supports? Now, this particular year of the dragon, which is Yang Wood, speaks of an interruption to her career. An interruption, I say that because the wood is so not helpful. It is feeding the fire in her chart. It is adding to the heat. She needs water every day to be in water. 
All right, so the yang wood, disruption, shifting, changing, what's going on with her career? And I know she just dropped a new song. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing it. And I, um, it feels like she's got to change things up. And then you add the fact that it's a dragon year. And that dragon is, of course, banging up against her hour, which is her career. So yes, there is a lot going on and the dragon is banging up against her, her year. There is, it's like literally like, uh, <laughs> and how that reverberates in your day-to-day -day existence. And this is one of the reasons people come to me looking for help, guidance, understanding what's going on in my life. I've had a lot of people reach out going, what's going on in my life? And when I look at it, there it is, a dragon, a dog, or both, you know? And yeah, so in the link, or there are links for getting all kinds of different readings from me. Um, and I put that in the descriptions for you. Because when we don't know, life can feel like we are blindly walking through. And a lot of times feeling like a victim to the circumstances of our lives when really when we know our astrology, we have more sovereignty to make changes, to adapt, to adjust, to accommodate so life is more easeful. Now, the way forward for Halsey. It's not good. It is not good. Next year is the year of a yin wood snake, more wood, and the snake is yang fire with earth and metal tucked inside. This speaks of health issues. She's still making money. And She's still creating things. So it's not like the world comes to an end. It's very focused on her career. And it's very focused on family. All of her responsibilities. And that's really front and center. So next year, we are going to see her. Don't think Halsey's going away. No, no. We'll see her. She'll be doing her stuff. But it's changed now. Because she's got... The snake, which is more behind the scenes, but very active, is this health crisis. And within that, tucked into that, is her self, her sovereign self. It's the elements that are working against her here. And as she moves forward in her luck cycles, I'm just going to read them out. Her next one, 2031, is a yin earth snake, fire and earth. On top of that, there's a semi-fire trio and also a semi-metal trio. And it speaks of a lot of health issues. When she gets to 2041, then we have her life pillar is on display front and center in a yang earth dragon luck cycle. This is double yang earth. This is not helpful. Then she comes to the next one, 2051, 50 ages, 56 to 65. This is yin fire rabbit. Wood feeding the fire. And in that one, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Then going forward. 60, ages 66 to 75, a yang fire tiger. Tiger is yang wood, not helpful. And on it goes. When we have um, a condition set up in a chart like this, 
the only way I see her being able to overcome her health challenges is by cooling her chart, wetting her chart with water. And so my friends, I leave you with that. I wish I had better news about Halsey. It saddens my heart to see a chart like this. Anyway, stay tuned. I've got another chart coming up for you this week. And until next time, be well.